So, as as a, a lover of beer, it becomes difficult sometimes to tell to tell what criteria make a good beer. Uh, we we've all we've all done it. We've all <clears throat> we'll sit and we'll tear tear beer apart and we're like, what is it that makes it good? And what are these criteria that we're using? And, it comes down to a couple things. We look at the head, um, we look at um, the lacing, we look at the body, the mouthfeel, the you know retention of the head. Uh, we we look at all kinds of different things. Um, uh, temperature change, um, whether beer opens up, beer's complexity, palate, all that kind of stuff. Um, one that I've now already mentioned is lacing. Uh, always thought lacing is just is so important. It's it's important in a good beer, and then uh, I've been confronted several times, and I've seen several things of, uh, that I found very interesting um, with lacing. So I'm gonna, but doing this, I'm doing this. I'm gonna do. It. I'm doing a little experiment. May fail. Uh, you, you know, anybody who knows science at all knows you can't judge anything off of one. One attempt, you need to have longevity. This isn't science, this is beer, <laughs> okay? And we all know that good beer is art. It's just a little science, measurements, uh, beer is art. So, but anyway, <clears throat> you're going to be doing a classic American lager. Yes. Yes, I'm going to do it. I'm doing it. Doing it, I'm not gonna edit it, I'm just gonna pour it, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just doing it. Guess what? Can you even open it up? It's a twist off. It's twisted. It smells like. It smells like an adjunct lager. <laughs> no, I mean, like, you can smell corn syrup and hops and. some hops. Mostly corn and. corn, you know, but if you look at it, right, light straw color, nice large head, right, now it's a little clear, we're always puzzled by things being clear. The aroma is what it is, but if you look at it, it's already starting to lace. If you watch the head pull down, right? Am I seeing what I want to see, or am I starting to see lacing? Mm -hmm. Okay, and accurate lacing. You know what I mean? Like natural, <coughs> the natural way that uh, it adheres to the glass from drinking it. You know what I mean? So. Obviously, the head's going down pretty quick. Yeah. Here's to you. Um. Let's see. The taste is um. It's pretty easy. <clears throat> um. I really don't have anything to say about it. It's not that bad. I mean, it could be worse. I mean, I could be, um, it could be Bud. <clears throat> I could be like looking a penny, you know. But uh, <laughs> look, I'm not getting solid rings, but look around, man. Get some lacing. Okay. How important is lacing? Lacing can be indicative of a good beer, I guess. I don't know if it's, um, that's an outright must. Whew. Yeah. Here we go again. I'm most of that show. It's not, actually, I mean, it's, it's not good. Let me say it right off. It's not good. 
Yeah, it's like, <laughs> you know. Look, man, you know, there's nice little loops of lacing here and there. You know? How important is lacing? But I mean, I guess, you know, at 4.2, you need something for session. <clears throat> you don't feel like spending any money. I guess <clears throat> Miller Lite will do. If you gotta, that's all they have, you know. That's all they have, I guess, you know. <sighs> I'm drinking it fast enough, though. <laughs> Alright guys, 